Hey guys, Rick Stone here from Our Stony Acres. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about when and how to harvest apples. So fall has arrived, the weather's cooled off, and our apples are almost ready to harvest. So we're going to talk today about some of the signs that you can look for to know that your apples are ready to harvest. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click that notification bell so you get notice every time I release new videos. Also, make sure you go over and follow us on Instagram. We'd love to have you join us there. And then stick around at the end of this video. I've got an offer for a free mini course for you. So we'll check that out as well. Okay, so we love this time of year because our apple trees are ready for harvesting. And we've actually already gone through and cleared off most of the apples on our tree. But I wanted to do a video for you guys on some of the apples that have remained so that you guys know how to harvest your apples and when to do it, okay? So there are actually four things that you can do to know that your apples are ready for harvest. And the first one is to check the background color on your apples. So I'm actually gonna come up closer here and this apple I picked intentionally green, okay? And then this one is one that was actually ripe and ready. And you can see the contrast between these two. So this one, this, this background color, so they're both red here at the front, but the background color on this one is very green, whereas this one has really mellowed. See how much yellower it is, almost a creamy color. And with many, many, many varieties of apples, that's what's going to happen. Now, of course, with the solid colored varieties like a Granny Smith or maybe a Red Delicious, you're going to have to look at some of the other methods. But for most apples that have a background color, when that color mellows to a yellow or a creamy white or a tan, that means that your apples are ready to be harvested. So next, I, I did want to point out really quick, you'll notice that our apples are in bags. So these are called organza bags, and we use these to organically protect our apples from pests. And it keeps the birds out, and it also keeps out coddling moth. If you want to learn more about using these organza bags, there's a link right up here that you can click. That will take you over to a video that I did last year on using these. So the next method that we use for determining whether our apples are ready to pick is the ease of picking, okay? So an apple that is ready to be harvested is going to come off of the tree very easily. And we want that to happen because we wanna make sure that we don't damage the fruiting spurs. Those fruiting spurs will produce fruit for many, many years, some varieties up to 10 years on one fruiting spur. And so we have to make sure that we're careful with those. We don't wanna be tugging, pulling, twisting, anything like that. An apple that's ready to be harvested will come off very easily. And let me show you the method. So this is really pretty simple. Basically is what you want to do is you just want to palm the apple like this. You don't need to hold on to it, no squeezing or anything like that. And then we're just going to roll this apple up like that. And see this one came right off and we were in good shape. If it had fought me at all, then we would know that the apple wasn't ready to be picked. And you'll notice we didn't damage the fruiting spur at all everything's good. So that is the next method that we use. If it's easy to pull, pick off, then we know that the apples are starting to get ready and can be harvested. All right, the next two methods actually require that we pick an apple from the tree and we're going to cut it open and we're gonna take a look at the seeds inside. So when we cut open an apple, if you come in here really close, you'll notice that these seeds are nice and dark colored. So the seeds have darkened up and look really good. If the apple wasn't ready to be picked, those seeds would still be a tan or a very pale color. And so seed color is another great way to know that your apples are ready to be picked. Of course, you have to sacrifice a few apples uh, to use that method, but that is actually a really good way to tell if those solid colored apples that don't have the background color to them are ready is by picking a few of those and checking on those seeds, okay? So that is a great method. And then of course, the last, last method is just to give it a taste. So <clears throat> that's actually a really good apple. So a ripe apple is going to be very sweet. It's going to be crisp and it will lose all of that kind of tartness or that puckeriness that you get from, from greener apples. Um, that all of that will go away and they'll be sweet and tasty, okay? Of course, there are exceptions to that and that would be the tart apple. So something like a Granny Smith is always going to taste tart. But for the most part, if you pick one of these apples and give it a taste and it's sweet, it's ready to be harvested. Get those apples off the tree. 
Okay, so that's it. Four ways for you to tell that your apples are ready to be harvested. Of course, timing is always going to be fairly similar as well in, in your areas, but that is, you know, I, I can tell you that for us, we always harvest our apples in early October. That's gonna be different if you live in a warmer environment. It may be different in a colder environment too. So you need to also pay attention to timing and after a year or two, you'll kind of know that, hey, my apples are almost always ready early October or maybe late September or, you know, whatever it is. So pay attention to that timing as well, okay? All right, that's all I have for you for this week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell so you get notice every time I release new videos. Also go follow us on Instagram. We'd love to have you follow us there. And then just really quick, I do have a free mini course that we're offering right now. This is our four fall gardening tasks that are going to make your spring garden way easier. And this is a free mini course. It's only about 25 minutes long and there's a link down in the description that you can click on to go sign up for that. Again, it's free. All right, that's all I have for you for this week. Everybody have a fantastic week. Happy gardening.